It sounds so simple. Export an FPX file from Blender, import it into Unreal Engine and start making your game. No, not so easy. In this video, I will show you three ways to import static meshes to Unreal Engine from Blender and they nearly get you there, but there's always a trade-off that will drive Unity developers mental. Stay till the end of the video where I show you a hack that will get you all the way. Let's go. I built this spaceship in Blender. It consists of 92 objects. Blender uses a negative Y forward axis and I tend to model everything facing in that direction. Now, most Blender to Unreal Engine tutorials will show you to select all your objects, press Ctrl A and apply all transforms before you export. This sets the pivot point of your object's origin to 000, and all my spaceship modules will line up nicely in Unreal Engine when I import them and create my spaceship blueprint. In just a moment, I will show you the problem with that. As a long-term Unity developer, I'm running into these issues while I'm making my own game Ultranova, but this time in Unreal Engine. And on that side note, if you're making a video game, I suggest creating a nice website and home for your game, and why not host it with a .fun domain name? One of the hardest things for us indie developers to do is to promote the games we make. With limited funds and exposure, every little bit helps, and having a website dedicated to your game increases your reach. I registered ultranova.fun for my new game Ultranova. Now, in the early days of development, I will showcase my devlog videos on the site, and over time, this will become the focal point of Ultranova, where press kit, contact form, leaderboards, news, trailers, and links to storefronts will be hosted. Use the discount code ULTRANOVA and register your own .fun domain at www.get.fun for only 99 cents for your first year. Okay, the problem with importing FBX files, as most Unreal Engine tutorials say you should, is that the pivot points of my thrusters, turrets and the entire front shield are set precisely to get those objects to rotate around a specific axis, and not around Origo. If I apply all transforms, the rotation pivot points of these objects will be wrong. If I do apply all transforms, I have to do manual labor in the blueprint and create new scene components, place them manually at the pivot points, and parent my objects to those scene components. In Unity, we're spoiled because when we import an FBX files, you automatically get the pivot points and positions of all objects, so the spaceship just works. Surely, there must be a way in Unreal Engine to do the same. After googling and YouTubing intensely for a full day without success, I turned to my own Discord, and Zana, thank you very much, found a subtle comment online that someone made that you can import FBX files into Unreal Engine and keep both the pivot point and the position offset. Amazing. You have to import the FBX scene instead of drag importing the FBX files or using the Send to Unreal plugin. First, I didn't find importing an FBX scene to be an alternative, but then, in true Unreal fashion, I found it in a totally different place. File, import into level, select and open the FBX file, and pick a destination folder. This brings up a new window, FBX scene import options, and if you leave the hierarchy type to create one blueprint asset, and then you hit import, Unreal Engine kindly creates a new blueprint for you, and all the meshes in the correct positions and the pivot points are maintained. So close, so close, but no cigar, which is kind of good since I hate smoking. But what happens next is driving me as a Unity developer insane. Using the FBX scene import method, all objects imported into the blueprint will have a negative 90 degree rotation on the x-axis. The blueprint will still work, but as a Unity dev, it is drilled into my mind that objects in the game should face in the correct forward direction, which happens to be in positive x-axis in Unreal Engine, without any rotation. So for anyone who wants a workflow with correct pivot points and offsets imported without manual intervention, this is an alternative if you can accept that your sub-objects are rotated by 90 degrees. Unfortunately, there are fewer import options for FBX scene import compared to the normal FBX import, so I have not found a way to get the X rotation to zero and have my spaceship face in the forward X-axis using this method. This is with having the force front x-axis applied and having tried all axis combinations in Blender during the FBX export process. Another quirk with the import FBX scene is that it doesn't pick up the name of the objects for the meshes. Instead, it goes to the mesh data block name, so you either have to copy those names manually from the objects in Blender or use a simple Python script to copy the names from object to mesh. 
a quirk on a quirk is that if you have a subdivision modifier, even if you apply it during the export process, the mesh data block name is changed to something like mesh001 or mesh002 and so on. So you have to manually apply the subdivision modifiers first to get the name you want. And of course, a quirk on a quirk on a quirk is that they can't have the same name as the object, so underscore 001 is added to all the mesh names. So what are the alternatives then? Manual FBX import or using the send to Unreal plugin? Let's start with a manual FBX import. To export the FBX, select all objects and go to File, Export FBX and tick Selected Objects. I just want to export the meshes, so I only select Mesh. I set Forward to X Forward and Up to Z Up. Unreal Engine also requires you to set smoothing under Geometry to Face, otherwise you'll get some errors. If I drag the FBX file into Unreal Engine and accept the default settings, the objects will face in the Y direction. So if I create a blueprint and drag all my objects into the default scene route, they will have a 0, 0, 0 rotation, but they won't face in the forward X direction of Unreal Engine. If I import it again, and this time we set force front X axis, and then I drag them into the blueprint again, they will all be positioned correctly and they will have the desired 0, 0, 0 rotation facing forward in the X axis. Great, is that the solution then? Well, the problem is that you'll lose your pivot points using this method. So when I click on my front shield visor object that I want to rotate around a specific axis, it resets the pivot point to the same as all the other objects. A workaround to fix the pivot point would be to add the scene component, manually position that scene component where you want the pivot point to be, move the object to become a child of that scene component, and then rotate the scene component instead to achieve the same outcome. So what am I whining about then? There's your solution. Well, as a solo developer, I'm about to create thousands of 3D assets for Ultranova. Having to repeat the same job twice and doing things manually will accumulate and waste time. If I change the spaceship, I have to re-import it and do all that manual work again to position and it's not going to be accurate unless I copy the offset location from Blender to Unreal Engine manually. The third option is to import the model with Epic's Send to Unreal plugin. It's a cool plugin to simplify the workflow between Unreal Engine and Blender, but it's a bit behind in updating and it doesn't work for Blender 4.0 yet, which uh, forces me back to using Blender 3.6. At the end, the result is similar to the manual FBX import method, so I'll lose all the pivot points in the process, or all the objects will snap back into Origo instead of having the correct pivot points, but that would mean me having to place them manually back into where they belong, which I don't want to do. It's manual work, and I don't want to do it. As a Unity developer, I'm used to importing my FBX files, and the rotations will be 0, 0, 0, and all the pivot points are all intact. All the positions of the objects are correct. This way I get my spaceship in a hierarchy and I just rotate my thrusters and front shield correctly right away with zero manual efforts or workarounds. I've used Unity for more than 10 years and as I'm learning Unreal Engine now, this is a good example of uh, what issues Unity developers will face when they learn Unreal Engine. I have similar issues with how easily you can set the same material for thousands of objects in Unity in one single go, but Unreal Engine will not allow you to do that for content drawer assets. I found a third-party plugin called Unreal Bucket that lets you do it, but you'd expect such fundamental actions to be possible. I created 3000 interior assets that all need a custom material in Unreal Engine, and the engine would force me to manually change the material for each asset one by one unless I programmed my own helper tool or used something like Unreal Bucket. I think this is where Unity shines as a game engine. It doesn't have the rendering capabilities and cool built-in features like Unreal Engine, but many of the basic tasks are simpler to understand and achieve. It's funny how something as simple and fundamental as bringing a 3D asset into a game engine can cause such a big headache even for experienced developers. Okay, I can finally show how to get all the way. Correct rotation, correct position, and correct pivot point, but be warned, it requires a hack. With the Send to Unreal plugin, there is a magic checkbox under the Import tab under Extensions called Place in Active Level. When you tick this box and push the assets to Unreal Engine, it will export all the objects directly into Unreal Engine and place them in the active level with the correct positions and pivot points. Without the following hack, one problem remains. Your objects will face in the Y direction instead of Unreal Engine's forward X direction. No matter what you configure in Send to Unreal, such as changing the forward direction under the export settings, or taking the force front X axis under the import tab statics mesh section. And then I changed the import rotation to 0, 0, negative 90 in the Send to Unreal plugin. 
and with this setting all the objects will face in the x direction. But since we use place in active level, the objects with different pivot points will not respect the rotation change so they will be placed incorrectly in the level. The hack I did to solve this problem is a temporary fix until I figure out the better solution, but at least it works. I ended up hacking the file unreal.py, which is the remote execution script that the send to Unreal plugin executes remotely in Unreal Engine during the asset pushing process. On PCs, the file is located in something like c colon backslash users backslash your username backslash app data the backslash roaming backslash blender foundation backslash blender backslash 3.6 backslash scripts backslash add ons backslash send to UE backslash dependencies. And at the end of the script, around line 1640, there's a section of code that looks like this. I changed it to become this. The effective change that I made was on the line where it says location equals location. I changed that to location equals unreal.vector and then I swapped the X and Y components around. Now when I push my assets, my spaceship objects are imported, they will all face forward in the X direction without any transform rotations and the pivot points and the offsets are correct. Finally, this took me two full days to figure out. Once the objects have been imported, I can select all of them in the level and go to this dropdown and convert selection to blueprint class. This allows me to easily create a new blueprint of my spaceship with all the static meshes positioned and rotated correctly facing forward in the X direction with the proper pivot points. The downside is that I have now broken the send to Unreal plugin, so I don't recommend anyone doing this and I will have to change it back and forth when I need to use the send to Unreal plugin to act in its normal way. I hope I can modify the plugin so the placement of objects in Unreal Engine respects the rotation setting of the plugin. I will raise this as a feature request to the devs as well and it would be nice if it just worked like this in the official plugin. If any one of you knows a better way to do this, please, please, please let me know. When I learn or manage to do this without the hack, I will release a new video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want to see more. And wishlist Ultranova on Steam if you want to play the game when it's finished. Until next time, have a great one and I'll see you then. Bye for now.